Hello everybody, we're going to be doing a video series on amino acids. It's going to be two parts, and this is going to be part one. So on the test, you're going to see two main types of questions. You're going to see general questions, which are going to just basically be covering general characteristics about all the amino acids. And then you're going to get very specific questions about specific amino acids. And this part one video is going to be all about the general characteristics. And then the part two is going to be focusing on the specific amino acids. Okay, so structure. There's five main parts to the amino acid. There's the central carbon in the middle. There's the amine group. There's the carboxylic acid group. There's the hydrogen group and then the R group. And the R group is where all the magic happens. This is what distinguishes each amino acid from the other one. And by R, it just means like a group of carbons, hydrogens, nitrogens, oxygens, or whatever it is. There's five main groups of amino acids, and I don't want you to spend too much time worrying about memorizing all the amino acids that fall into which group. You know, there's a lot of things you could memorize, and you know, the way I look at it is we only have so much space in our heads for memorization, and this is one of those things that kind of takes up a lot of space if you try to memorize everything. So I'm going to teach you just a couple general rules and just have you pay attention to some of the themes I see popping up frequently. So there's five groups, the nonpolar aliphatic R group, and that basically means that the R group is containing carbons and hydrogens. The aromatic R groups, which basically means it's a ring structure. There's polar uncharged R groups, which means that they the R group contains some form of oxygen, nitrogen, or sulfur. And then these last two are pretty self-explanatory. The R group can either be positively charged or negatively charged. So kind of a lot on this slide, but don't memorize all of it. Like I said on the previous slide, we're just going to kind of take this bit by bit, and we're going to dissect everything. I'm going to tell you what to know. So on the nonpolar group, I've listed out the different amino acids that fall within this group. And I bolded the ones that are mainly covered on the test. So you've got glycine, alanine, and valine. And glycine, we'll cover this later, but it's the only amino acid out of all these groups of amino acids that is not chiral. The aromatic R groups are phenylalanine, tyrosine, and tryptophan. The way I remember this is I think of tyrosine as a tire, and a tire is circular or ring, ring shaped. And all my UK friends are going to appreciate my spelling of tire here. And then the other way I remember this is I think it's f it's funny, it's finny when you trip on a tire. And so I'm associating that with the ring, aromatic groups, and that helps me remember which amino acids are aromatics. For the polar uncharged, you've got serine, threonine, cysteine, which include disulfide bonds, proline, asparagine, and glutamine. And then the positively charged R groups, lysine, arginine and histidine and the way i remember this is i think basically and basically helps me remember it's positive so basically the history of argentina is a lie and then for the negatively charged r groups are aspartate and glutamate also known as aspartic acid and glutamic acid so up here we've got basic down here we've got acidic negative so i think as and glutes are too big can't fit in your genes. That's